What's up everyone, Brad here with the Money Dad channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about PayPal because we just hit a price target that we have been watching for on this channel for a long time now. Been making videos on PayPal dating all the way back to, let's take a look. Uh, we made one a week ago and then I think I made one a while back uh, before that as well, PayPal stock price prediction one month ago. So we've been tracking PayPal for a month now on this channel because there has been a pattern playing out on this stock chart that suggested that this stock was going to pop higher um, soon and sure enough it did. Look, this was today guys, we popped way to the upside. Look, we had a 7% uh, move on PayPal today which is a lot for this stock. Um, you know, this isn't one of those penny stocks that moves 20% in a day. This is a big uh, market cap stock. We're talking about a $300 billion market cap stock right here. So to move 7% in a day is a, is a pretty good move for PayPal. You can see compared to some of these other candlesticks, uh, this big gap, gap up here is significant, right? So we were tracking this for a month now because of this stock chart pattern suggesting that we were going to get this move and sure enough we did we did it on the earnings report which is something that I have been looking forward to I don't normally like to play my trades around earnings reports because they're so unpredictable but I had such a good feeling about this earnings report and I bit and I said that in my videos and I said that on my live stream a few nights ago um, I really had a very good feeling about this earnings report because of their implementation of cryptocurrency into their platform. It brought a whole new stream of revenue to their platform. And not only are they getting the fees from selling that cryptocurrency, but they're bringing in new customers. I mean, look, to be honest, I am a new PayPal customer because I downloaded the app, I got the, I went to the website and logged in because I wanted to see the how they were buying and selling cryptocurrency on there. So there's a lot of people in my shoes that are going to PayPal for the first time. They're becoming new customers because they're interested in the cryptocurrency that they added to their platform. And then they stick around because now they have PayPal and they can use it to make transactions, right? So adding cryptocurrency not only was great because they're getting fees off of selling the cryptocurrency, but they're also getting a lot of new customers that are using their other services as well. So all of that culminated in a great earnings report for PayPal and we popped way higher on the stock price today. So that hit our price target. We were looking for $264. We got all the way up to a high of uh, 274, almost $275 today, and we closed the day at 270. And I know there was a commenter, uh, there was a subscriber in the live stream the other night that said, uh, asked if we were going to hit 270, and man, did he nail it, huh? Uh, so if you are out there watching this video, man, congrats. Look, I want to show you guys this uh, pattern real quick one more time just to kind of go over, you know, how we find these things. Look, there is this massive flag pole right here that set up this consolidation channel, right? This flag pole started at the pandemic crash. We, we hit our lows in March and then we just started uh, chopping almost straight up since then. Okay, so let's zoom a little bit closer into this consolidation channel now. So we chop all the way up, we hit this high right here, come down, we set a new low, come up, we hit a high, set a new low, and come up and hit another high. And now that we have these three highs right here, we have created a resistance line, okay? So you put that resistance line right there. You have these two bottoms right here that create a support, and they are perfectly symmetrical they are parallel, All right? So that is a channel, that's a consolidation channel. And when we break out in either direction, this could have gone the wrong direction. This could have broke down under resistance and we could have targeted a certain price to the downside as well on this channel. Um, but we broke out to the upside, great news. Uh, as soon as you pop out, you can expect a certain price target based on the size of this channel. So we were measuring this channel you just simply go, to, you know, bottom to top, bottom to top. You get about forty-two dollars, maybe forty-three dollars or so. Okay, you got a width of forty-three dollars, maybe a touch under forty-three because it looks like I messed up that measurement right there. But we'll say forty-three. And as soon as you pop out over the top of this, 
that's when you target $43 to the upside. Um, so in this case, we popped out and you're targeting 43 and we retrace, okay? And then we start heading back up and you're targeting 43 and we retrace, but we never break down under this line. That is the important thing. You do not have to sell. If you think, it, you know, if this stock is breaking down, you do not sell until we break under this line again. Once you break under that line, that's when you sell. So if you break out, you know, maybe you buy in right here because you think we're going $43 higher, you can set a stop loss to under whatever the price is under this line, right? So right under this line looks like it's $219 or two, yeah, 220 or 219, somewhere in there. But you have to note that this line is always moving up too, right? So you might have to change that stop loss from time to time, right? Like right here, for example, is 222. Anyway, you break out, you set your stop loss to underneath that line and you never hit your stop loss because even though we retrace back, we never go under that blue line, right? We come up higher, we never go under the blue line. We test it and then we, and then we pop right off of it and head straight up. So even if you set a stop loss, you were never going to get stopped out on this trade. It worked out really perfect. And then we ended up hitting our price target, our $43 to the upside, right? You, uh, you just take your $43, and if you do it from, from the initial breakout, $43 from the initial breakout is $264. If you do $43 from where we touch down right here, you get 266 or 267. So we have met the price target on this trade. We closed today at $270, so we nailed it, guys. We did it. Uh, it was a perfect trade. Um, you can sell now if you want, or if you're a long-term buy and hold investor for PayPal, um, then you know this is a good sign for you guys. Um, you know you popped really high on earnings and, and you did well. Um, you might be chopping sideways, or you may give up a, a little bit of gains here over the short term, maybe a couple of days or the next week or a couple weeks or so. Um, but that's typical when you see these big gaps to the upside on earnings reports. You see right here, there's a gap, there's an opening right here. These gaps tend to get filled more often than not, which means like candlesticks will come down into this opening. They come down here to fill that opening. So we might see it chop down a little bit over the next week or so and before we, before we head higher. I have no idea. Uh, that's a total guess. I'm playing this pattern right here and this pattern officially closed out at this candlestick right here. We hit our price target. We are done with this pattern. Uh, now everything after this, um, you know, is going to be based on how you feel about this company and the stock going forward. I don't have any more uh, say in where this is going. My prediction has played out exactly how I wanted it to. I made good money off of it. So what am I going to do with my position? Honestly, I think I'll look at the price action tomorrow um, at the open and uh, we'll see. Um, I, I may sell my position and you know put it into cash and have that ready for the next trade. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I think that is probably what I'm going to do. Uh, because I like to get out of these trades and have cash ready for my next trade. Honestly, if I keep holding my positions because I like the company, then I never have cash available to get into my next trade. That's been an issue that I've been working on personally lately um, because I just end up loving some of these companies. But I need to be a disciplined trader and understand that once I have met my price target on my trade, I need to take my cash out and have it ready for the next trade. That's something that is a discipline thing. It's tough to do sometimes when you love some of these companies, but if you're going to be trading swing trades, uh, then you just gotta figure, you gotta do it. You gotta figure it out. You gotta get your head right in the game um, and be ready for the next trade. You know, you can't fall in love with these companies, you know, it's just a trade. Um, so there's, there's different mentalities for long-term investing versus trading, right? Uh, if you're a long-term investor on PayPal, then you want to keep your money in and you just want to be a long-term investor and, and, and hold and wait for more gains. And that's totally cool. Um, I have a whole account that's dedicated to stuff like that. But the account that I'm using for this uh, trade is my trading account. Uh, so I need to... You know, I need to take my cash out. I need to sell tomorrow 
and have it ready for the next trade. Uh, you know, whatever it's going to be on this channel, I'll let you guys know uh, when I find my next trade. You know, I always do. Okay, so uh, on that note, if you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button. You will see when I post chart patterns that set up uh, trades. Basically, I do stock chart pattern analysis. We find these trade setups. We make money. We have fun with it. All that said, I'm not a financial advisor, so uh, uh, don't sue me, bro. You know, uh, I can't tell you what to do with your money. Uh, but I do show you what I'm doing with my money and we've been doing well with it. Okay um, That's all I got for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it If you did hit that like button uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber yet leave a comment down below I'll see you there and in the next video. Thanks guys